What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame reading for August 15th. And I just had inclination to put on my army sweater for some reason. But you know that when you're on a twin flame journey, it's spiritual warfare. So it's time to get ready for war. And what I mean by war, it could be balance, balancing your energy because sometimes feel like a war. Overall energy of this reading, we have 6-9. We have the lovers and the hermit. We also have the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. This is you creating, uh, creating, being in the energy of the Empress, being fertile, meaning creating projects, creating, using your masculine energy to create. You know, the feminine gives us the ideas and the masculine gives us the idea and use the hands to create. This is you entering a new phase of life because you've balanced 6-9, you know, Taoism 6-9. You've balanced both your masculine and feminine energies to manifest a new phase of life for yourself. Um, and I'll just quickly begin. Oh my God. Okay. I've been seeing the number one and three or 13 and 31 over and over. And it's basically saying you're being led. What I, what I got from those numbers is you're being led. Go with, go with the flow of the energies. Go with the flow of the divine because your ancestors are with you. Your guides are with you, leading you to where you are right now. But it takes your effort as well. It takes your participation to enter this life. To enter life, to enter light, this level of light that you were created to live, this feminine energy, this twin, this twin flame journey should lead us to life. It should lead us to a life that we can't even describe right now because we don't live it. It should be, it should, it, it's the light. It's the light operating in our life, leading us to more life. That sums it up. The first card we have is the Three of Wands, coupled with the second card, which is the Empress. And I wanted to I change my setup because I wanted you guys to see this a little bit more. But, you know, it's still kind of an excuse it if it looks a little messy to you. I don't want to cause you anxiety. But you have the Three of Wands and you have the Empress. This is your ideas and your creations going off without a hitch. The Three of Wands is your, you know, your ideas that you want to create, your plans, um, your aspirations, your passions that you're looking at to create. It's going, it's going off, it will go off without a hitch. The problem with that is you're not, you're not balanced. The issue with that is you're not balanced. You're holding on to your ideas and your projects. And it's time to release them. I resonate with this reading so much. I need to work harder, work faster. But you're, you're in balance. You're holding on to your ideas and your projects. And whatever, it could be a business idea, project. Whatever creating things that you're supposed to be creating right now that you make that you're very passionate about, it will go off without a hitch, but you're holding on to it. And this is the battle that you're fighting right now. If you're in a war of balance, this is the battle you're fighting right now. You're holding on too tightly to your ideas. It's time to let them go. It's time to release them and create, put it out there in the universe so the, um, your guys that are with you, your ancestral guys and your divine guys, God can bless you. And if you haven't read, if you haven't um, viewed my Twin Flame reading for the 14th of August, I suggest that you look at that as well. Because that goes hand in hand with this reading. That goes hand in hand with this reading. Because that reading was about a feminine finally putting herself first and, and becoming whole and balanced in her life. And that brings forth uh, recognition and blessings in, masculine, in her masculine in her life. I keep saying her, so it must be a her. You know, there are no mistakes. But the feminine bringing in, you know, abundance and blessings and a partnership because she put herself first and she became whole and balanced. So this is how you become whole and balanced. You create those projects, you create those ideas, you create, and you put the energy into it instead of holding on to them. Because this is the battle that you're fighting right now. Maybe there's some deception involved. You have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. It's some sort of deception as relates to your work. So you're either deceiving yourself, feeling like you don't have to put that much work into it, and you do. You have to put the energy into your creations and put your projects out there. Or it could be maybe things didn't work out as well as you thought they should in the past, so you're, the energy tricked you or you're fooled by the energy. 
But know that your plans will go off without a hitch if you put the effort and energy into it. It leads to a transition. Putting the energy into your projects leads to a transition. It leads to resurrection. With the hangman clarifying the six of swords, to me, that's, that's, that's resurrection energy. That's new levels energy. Divinely led new levels. Because you overcame this obstacle of inaction. You overcame this obstacle of holding on to your ideas. And you started putting yourself first. And you started working on your goals and working on your future. And you manifested your future to the present moment. Yep, and the Wheel of Fortune, right after it. Things change in your favor. Things come together. Things manifest. And it happens very quickly. You know what else happens quickly? The masculine comes in. With the King of Coins, clarified by the Emperor, both of those are Aries energy. They, they call this Taurus energy too, but this is both Aries energy as well, masculine energy. And um, the Nine of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Once that happens, it gets even quicker. Bringing in this partnership, bringing in the Emperor, bringing in your masculine, and you'll be abundantly blessed. Brings in recognition. I believe this all together as well, the Star and the High Priestess. It brings in recognition. And when I see this high priest, I feel like this is somebody on the throne. This is you and your energy of a queen, and your energy of the high priestess. This is the light, you being the light in others' lives, and you shining your light on others. This is you receiving recognition because you bring light to other people's lives. So whatever it is that you're creating, it's the light. It's your ancestors working with you, and it's time to manifest and birth those projects to create this powerful change in your life, to overcome this obstacle, to manifest blessings, to manifest your divine partnership, to manifest a new phase of life. Your projects, your creations manifest literally a new phase of life for you. And with the six and the nine, you have the lovers, which is balanced. Oh my goodness, I did not mean to pick up all these cards. But I'm glad I did because Six of Wands, right under there. Success. And then the Emperor, right under there because I actually only picked up two again. Two of Swords. But this is success. This is blessings. This is new levels. But you have to find that balance. Six, nine, guys. Look at that. Six, nine, the lovers. You have to find that balance. You have to find that balance within yourself. Maybe put yourself first and start working towards it. This is Aries energy again. Yeah. Start working towards the manifestation of your projects, your businesses, your ideas. What is up with my... I put the sweater on and I got hot. <laughs> Manifest your ideas. Put the energy into your projects. Don't fool yourself. It's time. Your ancestors are working with you. Your guys are working with you. And I'm going to change my... I want to change it. Oh, this is bothering me. Move my light. Your ancestors, your guides are working with you. And it's time to manifest a new life. It's time to manifest a new phase of life. Because what is this? There is a saying that I like. Or it's not even a saying. It's saying if you... That people depend on you. Sometimes someone else's blessing is attached to your actions. Sometimes your blessings bless other people. So you because your creations and you being in the spotlight is not for your ego. It's because that blesses other people. Other people will be blessed through you. But you have to put we have to put the work in. And I, I'm just preaching to myself too. So, you, we have to put the work in. We have to create these projects because they were created and the feminine gave us this energy. We have it in our minds to create this stuff because not only does it bring us to a new phase of life, but it helps others as well. It's the, it's, we are the light in other people's lives. We become the light. When you embody, embody the twin flame energy, masculine and feminine, you're the light in other people's lives. Especially when you find balance and you start helping others to find balance as well. Or whatever it is you create. Whatever, however you're helping others. You're the light in their life. And if you hold on to these projects, you're robbing them of that light. 
Don't rob, don't be the enemy in their life. The enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Don't be destruction in other people's lives because you were the destruction in yours. Because you didn't birth a project that you were created to birth. Because you didn't put the energy in the things that you were supposed to put the energy in. It is time. It's your season. Leo season is harvest season and it's stupid to sleep during harvest season. But I always say the scripture and I'll say it again. During harvest season, it's smart to work hard and it's stupid to sleep. Right? And most of my readings, I'm getting harvest season for Leo season, meaning we have to work. It's time to put the work in. Because in... Libra season in October, September, October, we're reaping the rewards for the hard work we put in right now. So if you're not putting in the hard work right now, you're robbing yourself and the people that you are a blessing to of those rewards that are going to be reaped during Libra season. So put in the work. Um, and I feel like I'm talking to a feminine. I could be talking to a masculine too because this is a masculine energy that we have to embody and balance in order to create these projects you have the ideas the empress came out twice one two you have the ideas you just have to put four of wands came i mean four of pentacles came out twice you have the ideas you're just not putting the money into it you're not putting the energy into it and this is your obstacle this is the obstacle to come overcome right now birth those projects birth those ideas balance yourself Find balance yourself because life is literally on the line. Your life is literally on the line. Beyond death, life. The light is on the line. Life and light is on the line. Maybe I read a little bit of these oracle cards. It's the first one. It's like one in three. It's initiative. The number one, number one is initiative. You you know have the determination. And the initiative to get your projects done. And I'm still preaching. And I don't mean to preach at you, but. Okay. It usually says, when you get this card, you know, and that's the paragraph that I wanted to read. <laughs> So here you are, an old soul at the edge of something you have known, at the cusp of an ending and a beginning. Perhaps you are already in surrender and falling in, or perhaps you are fearful and resisting as you greet your unknown destiny. Yet this moment is happening because your own divine soul has chosen for it to be this way, so that love may grow. There is no punishment in this ending, nor is there anything to fear. Interesting. There may be uncertainty and insecurity. Yeah, you have a big enough heart to bear such growing pains. Your heart is big enough to receive the joy that is lying wait for you as you stumble across her in the course of your clumsy inspired travails into new life. Interesting. You shall know the truth, the knowledge that the divine is with you, guiding every folding moment, unfolding moment of your life journey. No matter how dark it may first appear, the divine is with you unflinching generosity with compassion with fierce passion for your blossoming into all that you are and all that you can be your life is awakening the life that you've been manifesting on this twin flame journey is awakening it's waiting for you though it's gonna take you to overcome this obstacle of inaction or of holding so tightly to the things that you've been blessed with this is your gifts this is your ideas. This is a business. Uh, it's something that you are not using properly. You're in balance. It's time to give birth to them. And I am about to, when I get off this reading, when I finish my readings for today, the energy readings, I do I'm Ashley Gillard on Instagram, at Ashley Gillard, G-U-I-L-L-A-R-D. I do post daily energy readings on there as well. But when I'm done with my daily energy reading for Instagram and Facebook and I post this, I'm about to stay up and work my ass off because this this just lit a fire in my ass, literally. My life, your life is on the line. And what I mean by life is more life. I don't mean you're going to die. I mean life that you were created to live, real life, is on the line. And the life of others is on the line. And be responsible with the blessings. When God... When the divine and God and the universe puts other people in your hands 
to be a light to, for you to be their lights, for you to light their life, take that very seriously. Take care of yourself even more because you know that you have to take care of yourself in order to be the light in other people's lives. And that includes your projects and your ideas. That includes your songs. That includes your gifts. That includes your books. That includes whatever it is that you were supposed to create right now. Your course, your school, your, your job. If you are the light in other people's lives, it will behoove us to use that light in the proper manner by creating these things that brings more light and more life into our lives and others. So I'm done preaching. I didn't mean to turn it into a preaching session, but that literally lit a fire in my ass. If you watch the other reading, you'll understand it's like, you know, once you find this wholeness and you start birthing your new life, then you're double up, basically. You're, you're double up. And that's what I got from this too. This resurrection is like a double up because you have six and then 12. It's double up. It's double up. You double up. Once you double up, you double up again because the masculine then comes into your life and blesses you as well. Or this, I don't even want to call it a masculine in this reading. I want to say partnership comes in because it's time for you to balance your masculine energy as well. So if I call, if I say masculine, I'm talking to you too. All right, guys, if you want a private reading, feel free to click the link in my description. Um... I'll be creating with you and I'll be working with you and I'm about to put some fire under my ass and get some stuff done as well. I wish you love, light, and more life. Um, before I go, this reading was brought to you by my book, The Personification of Beauty. Research me or Google, not Google, search me on Amazon, Ashley Gillard, and you'll see it and it's a wonderful week and it also light a fire in your ass as well. All right, peace. This would got no light. Come to the edge, he said. We might fall, they said. Come to the edge, he said. It's too high, they said. Come to the edge, he said. They came, he pushed them, and they flew.